kids at home with the Livermore Public Library. My name is Caitlin and today we're going to be doing book ciphers or book codes. Basically, it's a way to send secret messages using a book or other commonly available text as the key. So, what is your secret code going to look like? Each word will be represented by a series of three numbers. The first number on the left will be the page number of the book or item you are using as a key. The middle number will represent the line number. You will count your lines from top of the page to the bottom of the page. The third number on the right represents the word number. Count the words on the line from left to right until you get to the appropriate number. That's the word you're looking for. In order for two people with the same code to come up with the same secret message, they have to use the same key. Keys are often common books, like novels, dictionaries, or Bibles. If you were a spy, having these common items in your home would not arouse suspicion. For the purpose of this activity, we are going to use the 2020 Summer Reading Game Independent Reader Game Board. Everyone can download a game board, and I highly encourage you to sign up for the game, too. Let's take a look at how we are going to use the game board as a key to unlock a secret coded message. Since we're not using a book, which would ordinarily already be numbered, let's number the pages of our game board so that everybody is on the same page. The front cover will be page one. The left side of the inside spread is page two. The right side of the inside spread is page three. And the back cover is page four. Next, we are going to go through each page and number the lines. Please note that I do not recommend you numbering the lines if you're using a real book as your key. This is just to illustrate how you want to count your lines. Once you get the hang of it, all you'll have to do is count down from the top of the page to find the correct line. For consistency's sake, let's all scribble out the word bonus on page three, since it's not in a line at all and is written sideways. The logos on the fourth page can make counting the lines a little tricky. However, let's all agree to make Papa Murphy's Friends of the, the third line, and Take and Bake Pizza Livermore Library, the fourth line. Line five will be Foster's Quest, and line six is Freeze Science Center 2.0. The words in the LARPD logo will be treated as one line, since they're arranged in a circle. For the purpose of this activity, we are going to treat numbers as words. So for instance, on the front cover where it says August 12th, we are going to treat 12 as if it were spelled out T-W-E-L-V-E. -E. If you decide to make your own secret code, you can choose to treat numbers however you'd like, just so long as you and the secret messages recipient are using the same rules. So here is our example sentence. Each group of three numbers represents a different word. So for the first one, we're going to go to page three, the first line, and the first word, which is I. For the next word, we want to go to page one, line two, and the first word, which is read. Our next word can be found on page three, on the fifth line, and it's the first word, which is books. The next one is also on page three, but it's on line 21, and it's the second word in. Remember to count from left to right to find at. Next word is on page four, line 13, all the way down there at the bottom. And it's word number eight. So count in eight words from left to right until you get to the. Our last word is found on the first page on the 13th 
13th line, and it's the third word in, which is library. So here is our completed, decoded sentence. I read books at the library. So now that you know the basics and you've used the independent reader game board to make and decode a secret message, why don't you try it with a book? If you and a friend have a copy of the exact same book, you can make your own secret messages. For instance, I went through my bookcase and I found two copies of the exact same book in the exact same edition. So, when you open up the book to page 306 in this book, it'll be exactly the same in that book. So your codes will work. However, you have to be careful. If you and your friend have a, a different editions of the same book, for instance, in my bookcase, I found two different copies of A Swiftly Tilting Planet. These ones will not work. For instance, chapter two in this edition starts on page 30. Chapter two in this edition starts on page 32. So even though they have the exact same story, you can't use these to use your code because the page numbers are not the same. So that's it for today's Creative Kids at Home with the Livermore Public Library. I hope you have a ton of fun creating secret messages to share with your friends and family. Remember, if you want to do this with books, you have to have two copies of the exact same book in the exact same edition. Two different editions will not work. Otherwise, have fun and I will see you next time.